Okay, what's up everybody? We're gonna be making some pizza today. So, step one, you're gonna grab your dough, wherever it's from, it's from Breadsmith. Um, it's like a famous local bread place, so you're gonna pick out how much dough you want. I'm not gonna eat this whole thing, so I'm gonna split it in half. This is about half, half of the dough over here. And uh, you are going to take your flour, open up your flour. Um, you could cut it into a circle and put it directly inside of your cube. Okay? No, no, no. You're going to take. Oh, you put your whole hand inside of there? You're going to take your flour, okay. dump it on the. Uh, we did wash your hands, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Dump it on your, uh, your, um, cutting board. Lather generously. And then, you're just gonna mush it around a little. You're just gonna mush it, use your hand. Think of it as Play-Doh. Mush, mush. Now, you're gonna get your rolling pin and do some some rolling to make the dough thinner. Pizza, pizza. So. Grab some Gonna combine it. Keep combining it till it's a nice ball again, and then. You hold on. Okay. After you make it a nice ball again, you're gonna roll it out yet again. Keep rolling until it's really flat. Flip it over. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands and I'll be back. Okay, so now once you've got your little pizza um, right here, it's kind of like a kidney bean. I'm just gonna, it doesn't really matter what shape it is because it's pizza, it'll come out just the same. So, phase two will be opening and grating our cheese. I pick mozzarella because that's what most cheese is most. The, the, the most common cheese for pizza is mozzarella, so I pick mozzarella. Here we have it. Our gigantic cheese block. Voila. So after you get your cheese, um, you're obviously going to need something to grate it with, so you're going to grab your grater. Put it inside a container that you're actually going to be able to, um, you know, pour onto your pizza later. And just start grating away. You're going to want a good amount of cheese, because you want to lather your pizza in cheese. I mean, it is a pizza after all, so... You're going to want to grate up a lot of cheese. You can probably use like the smaller filter on it because uh, you don't, at least when I make my pizza, I don't like thick cuts of cheese. I like like small cheese that's melted into the pizza. So I'm using kind of the smaller type of, um, the smaller setting for the cheese grater. Honestly, I'm gonna mix it up a little though. 
I'm gonna go into a couple of big chunks. just little chunks okay or should can you put this in a, like a like, huh? like a container do we have a container for it yeah yeah continue oh those are If I touch it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It just gets me like this. I mean, it's not a good or a bad thing. You just, you just touch the parts that you're going to use. Uh, okay, so once you've got your cheese made and kind of. Okay. And kind of in like a reservoir to spread, you are going to go get your pasta sauce. So now that you get your pasta sauce. We're just using tomatoes here, but like crushed up pasta sauce, you're going to lather generously all over your pizza. Make sure the majority of the pizza is covered. And in this case, um, the pasta sauce does not really have too much flavor in it. So we're going to add some of our own sauces or seasonings. So... We're gonna come with our pepper. And after that, you're going to apply your cheese generously. Spread it out proportionally to the rest of the pizza, or try to. Hi, Hi, Emma. Then, the best part is you are going to grab your toppings, which I'll come back with in a second. Okay, now we're ready for the last step, which is toppings. So for my pizza, I'm gonna do mushrooms, salami, and turkey. And for the toppings, you know, when you actually put the toppings on, make sure you already have it on your dish. You really should have done that like right after you prep your dough because it's gonna be hard to carry over because the pizza may be a little flimsy. But regardless, um, you're gonna just wanna cut up your mushrooms or whatever topping you're using. And then I'm using some salami here. So I'm just gonna. It's kind of, it's a little difficult to cut salami, but if you can, try and cut it in like squares, so it's easier to put on with the mushrooms. Catch the then for the turkey, I mean, you're kind of just going to want to rip it again. I'm not going to use too much turkey, but 
two pieces should suffice. For the bigger toppings, try and cut it in, like I said, smaller portions, so then you can actually have more topping to work with, just in case you don't even want to use all of them. You can save them for, like, other pizzas or whatever the heck you're cooking. But anyways, here are our toppings. We have some salami, turkey, and mushrooms. Sorry, I can't put the camera, but... Um, you're going to take your pizza. Like I said, you're going to want to try and cover the whole pizza. Almost every part of your pizza with the toppings. Because one, you love toppings. And two, it's a, it's a, it's a better pizza that way. So. She like, I don't want to use the rest of this turkey, so what you need. Now we're gonna put it into the oven. Okay, putting your pizza into the oven. If you do it on a mini oven, you're gonna wanna Put it to about 425 on bake, obviously, and then you're just gonna wait. You're just gonna wait until it cooks, and I will be back to you guys when it finishes cooking. So, a little over 10 minutes, a little over 14 minutes. Sorry, I realized I forgot to put cooking spray on the sheet, which provided a big problem for actually taking the pizza off, but. In the mini oven for 425 for about 14 minutes, the Wolfgang Puck mini oven, and you'll you'll have a good looking pizza. But make sure to put cooking spray on it. Um, without further ado, the taste, the taste test. Okay. Mm. I'd say uh, things to note, definitely put your cooking spray on before. It's really good and crispy. Like I said, um, you don't really care about the shape because it's pizza, but it's definitely good. And um, next time I'll make a video, I'll probably make another pizza video about how I make like common pizza. But um, just a lax pizza video on a Thursday afternoon. Mm. Hope you enjoyed. And um, definitely keep out on the watch for a pizza video either a week, a month, or three years later. So bye guys.